First time call out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Glenn, you're on the air, sir. Yes, hey, how Jesse? How you doing? All is well, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, sir. I just want to say thank you for, you know, the message that you preach. It's a, it's a, it's a good thing, and it, it's making me think outside the box, I guess you could say. Beautiful. Um, unfortunately, I heard about you kind of late in life. I'm 43. I already got married when I was in the world, have a daughter. My question for you is, when you were married to, and I know there's, you know, you say there's no such thing as a strong woman, just a weak man, but when you're, when you're married and you got the message late, and your wife is a very successful, you know, manager. She manages, you know, 10 men in her company, and she's more successful than me, which happened after we got married. I mean, I have a job. I hold my own. I make above average salary. I'm not saying I'm rich by any means, but, but I'm doing okay. But when you have a wife that's just that strong in the financial corporate world and gaining respect in that world and the leader of other men, how do you, how do you approach that? Because... I, I, she hasn't heard your message yet, you know, but I got a feeling it's going to get <laughs> tackled with a lot of anger. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. It's a very strong, uh, angry, this, um, it's this my is way such the a good, kind of woman. This is such a good question. Hold on, Glenn. Thank I got to I gotta take a break. When I come back, I'll respond to that. It's an excellent question. Oh. I got the answer right after this break. Do you have children? We have one daughter, and, uh, you know, I, I feel a lot of resentment from my daughter and from my wife the more I try to to let let it be 50-50 even. You know, I, I lived a lie a long time, and I thought we could be 50-50, but I see the resentment and the hatred, and I lose more of me the more I let this go on, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Uh, and how long have you been married? I've been married now for seven years. Seven years. Amazing. Um. And so your quest, restate your question for me. What's your question again? So my question is, how, how do I move forward? I feel like if I really went in, like, because I, I understand what you're saying is the truth, and I get it, and I've, I've inside internalized that and have forgiven my parents and moved forward, but I feel like my wife is just on a whole nother playing field where even when I start to talk on these lines, I just get the eyes rolling and I just get the, you know, you don't know what you're talking about because, you know, to her credit, the world and corporate America is telling her she's on the right path because of how successful she is. Yes. You know what I'm saying, Jesse? Yeah. And spirituality is not a big thing to her. Yeah. So here's here's what's now you're probably going to cast pure hell from her, right? Yeah. Because now you're yeah. trying to return to the proper order of God and Christ. Yes, sir. Christ and man, man over woman and woman over God. I mean, woman and over I'm children. Fearing, so, I'm fearing divorce. You know what I mean? I'm fearing that's coming, but I know, you know what I mean? What can I do? Right. So here's what I recommend. I, I recommend that you first go and forgive your mother because you're married to your mother. And yeah. the, the reason that this woman got with you because you were weak, beta male, weak, right? Yes. And, right. Uh, I so, and so I would recommend you go and forgive your mother so that Which God, I have, yes. so that God can forgive you, and, ha and yes, that I've done. And did you do it with your father too? Yeah, I mean they both passed away now. My mom passed away a couple months ago. My dad passed away a few years back, so I didn't have the ability to be able to um, look him square in the eyes and confront him, which I wish I could with my dad. Yeah, he was a very intimidating man. Um, but but um, so I, I just did it through my own heart. You know what I mean? And I really said, God, I don't want any resentment to anybody, including my wife, right which I had through the years. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it's not your wife's fault that you are beta male. It's your, yes, you were already that way before she met you. That's why she married you. Women Correct. marry weak men because women are very insecure and they get a Correct. false sense of security from uh, getting involved with weak men. So it's not her fault. Mm -hmm. But uh, So here's what you do. You're doing my silent prayer. I have been, yeah, I've been, I've been doing it, yes, sir. Yeah, stay with it. You got to do. I recommend you do it morning and night, every day. All right. And okay. so, uh, uh, only thing you need to start doing from this point forward is just speaking up and being honest and telling the truth about situations as they happen, because God will change the relationship for you, and she'll either love you and stay with you, or get so angry she'll run away. Either way, you'll be fine. 
Okay, I appreciate that, sir. And I just have one quick last question, uh, if I could ask you real quick. Yes. The world lie about men and how they should treat women, and, you know, as many women as you could get, it, it makes you more of a man. That lie is so big and in our face. How, how, do you, how do you suggest men deal with, like, now nah, I'm married, so I'm a little bit past this, but I went through this, the lust thing. You know what I mean? Like, I yes. know you say, hey, look, no sex before marriage, but what about when that temptation hits? For men, it's, it's a big temptation. How do, they, how do they get through that, you well, know, and do th- things the right way? Well, once you overcome, and I'm a living witness to this, once you overcome your mother, you're going to love women with logic and not emotions. And so mm-hmm. you'll have a new mindset. And the reason that men are into sex like that is because you become attracted to what you hate. And men hate yes. their mothers, so they become sexually attracted. But they're not going to have sex with their mothers, but they have sex with spirits and other women that are just like mama. Mm. And so once, right. once you forgive your mother, then that sexual desire would not have the same control over you because you have perfect love and you won't have to give into it. Well, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you spreading the truth, man. It, it, it's a good thing, man, and I, I really appreciate what you guys are doing. But And you're welcome, Glenn, but do the silent prayer and just start, when the moments come to stand up and, and be honest and be fair, take it and do it, and when she get angry at you about it, just let her scream yeah. and yell, but don't cave yeah. in if you're on the side of what is right. On the side of what is right, yeah, because the anxiety builds up in me, you know what I mean? And I'm like, well, I don't know what to do. She's going off the wall. Just you know let her I mean? go so off the I, wall. Watch her as she's going off the wall. Watch her as though you're watching a movie. It's not you, it's her. She's just trying to control you. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, sir. But I urge you to do the prayer. Stay with the prayer. I will. I will. God bless you, Glenn. God bless. Talk to you guys. All right, buddy.